Hi there, Coach Chris with Mid-South Fencers Club. We're going to be talking about repairing an FA body cord today. Really, FA body cords are some of the easiest body cords to repair. It's an A, a B, and a C line. And as long as those are connected, you can't go too wrong. Before we start everything, I do have to say that we are going to be working with a, a razor knife and there will be some small tools. So, parents, this would be a good thing to do with your child, uh, with your fencer, or if you are a fencer, please take care of yourself. Uh, starting with some tools, uh, we are going to need a razor knife. Uh, try to get a sharp one. Always good to do one with sharp tools. Uh, fill a flathead screwdriver. Some wire strippers. A permanent marker. Uh, some jeweler's screwdrivers, glasses screwdrivers, these are called precision screwdrivers. Anything that's a tiny screwdriver is great. I also like to have a, a sm uh, old FA socket on hand for reassembly. It makes it a little bit easier to keep the pins in line. Something that is nice to have, but not a requirement, is an O-meter. I've actually modified mine to have these little clips on the end. It makes it much easier to do our tests. One other thing to talk about, before we begin, there are, in general, two types of FA body cords. We have the, the usual, I would say the most normal type, these clamshell body cords, hard case on the end, has uh, three flathead screws holding this case together. There are also the Leon Paul body cords. Uh, this is just a flexible rubber, much easier to fix, I say, but does have an opening gear down at the end, and sometimes sweat can get inside there, start to turn your body cord green, and you might have some conductivity issues. Let's get started. So, today we're gonna be starting with the uh, clamshell, the typical, this is an uh, old almond body cord, um, and the first thing that we need to talk about is what each of the lines are. So we have our A line, our B line, which is a little bit closer to the A, and our C. So you see there's a bigger gap here than there is here. First thing we need to do is use a screwdriver, typically a flathead screwdriver, and we're just gonna open that case right up. Um, I like to do this right on the surface of the table, and sometimes they get a little rusty, you have some sweat going on there. Uh, open those right onto the table. And if you do it well, sometimes those little nuts will fall right off to the side. And we're just gonna push those just that way. Opening this up, oh, now we see immediately what the problem was. We have our three pins. Now before we do anything else, we wanna look, we wanna know this was the A-pin, we can see it's a little bit closer. And we're gonna take that A-pin, I'm gonna maintain that orientation. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna grab my permanent marker, and I'm just gonna take and just rub the permanent marker. We're gonna go down about five or six inches down that. One of the most common issues or <laughs> learning moments when repairing a body cord is accidentally mixing up which line is which. We're gonna jump back over here. Now, these little pins, they are all the same. But we need to just unscrew, there's a little screw, screw right on the base. And we're just gonna unscrew right here. Okay, next thing, and this is the thing that I think a lot of people get a little bit anxious about, we're just gonna cut these right off. Um, just start over from scratch. Typically, I give myself at least the amount of room to escape where the clamshell case used to be. One of the most common breaks is just right here, where over time, the clamshell makes a, a divot there. Next, we can, we can toss the leftover wire. All right, that's some garbage. And again, we're just trying to try to maintain as neat a workspace as possible always helps us rebuild later. Now we have these three strands and they are connected 
we're gonna go over here, we're gonna grab our razor knife and just pushing down in between two of the strands, I'm gonna just push it into the table and kind of cut slash pull the wire. There we go, good. So we have one strand and we're gonna go down about, mm, maybe about two inches there. We're gonna just separate all of them to about the same area. Don't, uh, don't do this on a table, it's too nice. Now we have these three wires. We're gonna jump over to the other side and use our wire strippers. We're gonna strip down maybe, maybe out of a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. Just take that, take that wire right off. Let's see. And you might have to play with it, find what gauge wire is best for you. You'll see that in many strands, uh, in a minute when we do the Leon Paul body cord, you will find that the Leon Paul wire is much finer, it's much finer gauge. And we're just gonna take those and we're just gonna spin them just like that. Kind of making like a little twist on the end. See how these are a little bit messy? We're just gonna twist these as well. So now we have these three wires. Remember we marked that A line with the permanent marker on that side. And we're just gonna start to rebuild. Now, everybody's pin is gonna fit in a little bit differently. So, when you put it in, what is okay to do is take, take your thumbnail and just fold that over. This does two things makes the wire a little bit shorter. You don't want too much exposed wire on the inside of your clamshell case. And when we put this pin back on, fills up that space a little bit better, gives that screw a little bit more to grab onto. Just gonna tighten that back on. Awesome, and I always give it a little tug, make sure that you seated that well enough. Notice that I'm not taking this screw all the way out, just enough to fit the wire back in. Just go ahead and fold that one over. Got that. You know, it, uh, repairing a body cord is, it's pretty easy. I mean, you can spend $25 plus on a really good body cord, but if you learn how to fix it, it'll last you it'll last you a good lifetime. That looks pretty good right there. You can see that all the pins are about in the same line. That is gonna be important for later when we start our reassembly. I'm just gonna give myself a little bit more room pulling that back. Now, let's talk about some reassembly. So we've just want done one end. Uh, if you don't have an O-meter, it's fine to do one or both ends. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my old Epe socket. And if you don't have one of these, it's not a big deal. It just makes it a little bit easier. And I'm gonna find, let's see, where was my A-line? Ah, oh, there it is, good. I'm just gonna insert that into that A-line. Boom, 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 let's see. Looks like these pins, you'll see some of the fins on these pins are a little bit squished in. This often happens with an older body cord. Take care not to poke yourself with one of these tiny little screwdrivers. That comes from experience right there. We're just gonna insert the little screwdriver and open up those gaps just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but we're taking it from a very flat side and we're opening it up just a, just a hair to give ourselves a little bit more room. Sometimes 
can't quite get the little screwdriver in there, and that's okay. Just go on to the next one. You know, it's the best way to learn how to fix a body cord is just trial and error. You'll try a few times and I guarantee you're going to mix up A and B lines at least once. It just happens. It's part of part of uh, learning to fix things for sure. So again, just making sure that our A line, excellent, back in the right spot. So now that we have this all back together, um, we're going to take our clamshell. Looks like these are pretty symmetrical. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to try to just push those. It's important that the pins are square to the clamshell. And I'm just going to kind of push, feel, and push. Hmm. Let's make a slight modification on this gentleman right here. Take. Take our take some things off here. Make it a little bit easier to manipulate, easier to use. Let's rebuild it later. There we go. Wonderful. Maybe this one just becomes the uh, designated body cord repair socket from now on. That's quite all right. Lock. 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 Perfect. Um, for Epe, just an additional side note. Um, the C line, this one that's farther away, that's what controls the grounding. Uh, your A and B lines really just determine whether or not you get a touch. So if you're having grounding issues, definitely take a look at that C line first. Here, I'm just shoving everything back inside. I just want it to all fit. And we're gonna take that clamshell, the other half of that clamshell, I'm just gonna put it right, I'm starting at the top, giving it a push, take your tiny screwdriver, and just shove, shove, until you get a nice closure, give it a wiggle. There we go. And I'm gonna take a screw. I always like to do the bottom one first. So for this one, turns out my flathead was a little bit too big, so I'm just using my, my little screwdrivers to accommodate. Good. Perfect. Slide that in. And here we're just, we're just reassembling, just like when you took it apart. So I'm putting the nut in on the bottom side. Screw back there, so I'll do it here. Putting the nut in the bottom side, holding it with my finger, and just giving it a screw. Sometimes you might find it easier to go backwards a little bit before you do the whole thing. And there we go, fixed a body cord. That's just, again, that's just one end. The whole thing takes just a couple of minutes. Let's talk about the Leon Paul cords. So, we've already done the uh, 
regular clamshells type body cords. So we're gonna talk about some Leon Paul body cords. Like I said before, these have a flexible cover. Um, first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to pull that back. So I like to just kind of lean into it, grab that C line and just pull, pull, pull. And it'll come right out. I'm gonna unwrap this one, make it a little bit easier to work with. Now, as you can see, we have those uh, A, B, and C lines just like before, but they're housed in this plastic case, kind of a, I don't know, it's just like a big, big connector thing. Just like before, we're gonna need to remove those pins. The Leon Pauls are very different. You don't need to strip the wire at all. These pins, actually go into the bottom of, or these screws actually go into the bottom of the pin. And they're a little spike. Oh man, that's a long one. They're a little spike. There's a, a spike on that end. So the wire just runs through and the screw goes all the way through, pierces it, and comes out the other side. Uh, another difference with the Leon Paul body cords, you'll notice that this pin is smooth. Unlike the other one, there is no fin on the outside. The way, way the Leon Paul body cords stay inside your FA socket is they, the pins are all offset. So they're not in the same line. There's some angle, they kind of zig and zag their way through. So first thing we're gonna do we're gonna mark just like before. We're gonna mark that A line. Now you can mark your C line. You can mark, just don't mark that B line because that was in the middle. Mark that A line right there. Perfect. Again, just a good habit to have. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull these pins out. You might not need to pull them all the way out, just far enough out to get, separate them from the wire so they're not running all the way through that wire. So you see, like I said before, that just runs all the way through. I'm just gonna push these over here, trying to make sure they don't roll away. Uh, something you can do is if you have a white towel, or if you were repairing a body cord at a tournament for some reason, use your Plastron. Um, you do not want to be fixing, in general, you don't want to be fixing things at tournaments, but if you have to, definitely use a white surface. Make sure you don't lose anything. So now, I'm just gonna pull, pull those out. way we can kind of push and wiggle and so there we have it and you can see the wire goes right right through that hole that's right there okay now again just like before we're gonna be taking this we're gonna go down a little bit this is pretty green right here but it doesn't look Totally, totally wasted. All right, let's take a look. And again, we're just separating those, make it a little bit easier. To get them all back in. And you know, you could do this infinite times. The only limit to how many times you can fix a body cord is uh, how long the body cord is. So uh, if you do make a mistake, just and try again. So we're just gonna run. 
run that through. And again, we're looking for our A line. And we're gonna poke our A line through. We have a little bit of trouble. There you go, good. And so it's it's all the way through and coming out the other side. We're gonna take our little spike screw. I'm just gonna screw it right back in. You will feel a little bit resist, a little bit of resistance as the screw goes through the wire, but that is quite all right. Take our B line, just run through here. Note that this this is still down here. Once you've Note that this is still down here. Once you've reassembled this, you can no longer slide this over the top. I've done that one. Um, right, and then lastly, that through. Just screwing that all back together. Excellent. Let me just run this back up. And this is the without a doubt the hardest part. Just getting all, all this back inside this rubber casing can be a real trick. But, there you go. All done. Leon, Ball, Leon Paul body cord fixed. Well, thank you so much. This has been Chris with Mid-South Fencers Club repairing some F8 body cords. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe.